PR, where are we going today? Well, I'd like to start by saying the boys are back. Colin, behind the stick. Samir right here. Feels like life back to normal. Two of my favorite people, two of the most creative people I've ever met, doing a little project together. On my YouTube channel, where as part of my 2018 resolutions, I listed three people that I wanted to meet. Like three people that I'd like to meet, among others. But these are three that I want to tell you about. The first one is Ellen DeGeneres. The second one is Steve Nash. And the third one, Casey Neistat. Why do you want to meet Steve Nash? So I've always looked up to Steve Nash as a player because his creativity on the floor is something that uh, I always strive to be like as a, as a creator on the field. He played lacrosse too, didn't he? I think we're going to find that out. What a place. Oh my Steve, gosh. how you doing? Samir. Samir, please nice to meet you. you. Steve, come on in. Colin. Colin. Thank you for being such a gracious host at your place here in Manhattan Beach. Pleasure. What is your general philosophy as a player who's had such a long career and a successful one? It's great. It's resilience is the biggest predictor of success. So, you know, that's a muscle. And that's a muscle that needs to be developed. And you can be born with great grit and resilience, but you have to continually develop that muscle as well. I always try to count my makes because it's a, it's a successful quantity instead of just an arbitrary quantity. Like if, if I want to make, if I want to take a few hundred shots, what's the point of it if you're not focusing and trying to make the most of every one? I think you have to have faith that if you work every day and you prepare, what do they say when preparation means opportunity? You know, I think you, you just worry about the preparation. Just prepare and so that when that opportunity, if or when it comes, you're ready. I, I really believe like there is no development without competition. Because when things are heightened, that's yeah. when you develop. That's when you're pushed to your limit. But most importantly, that's where you learn to lose. That's where you said you, you look for that loss. It's funny how you said like you, you don't want to lose. You know, especially with social media, I think there's a lot of pressure on kids and they don't want to put themselves out there. And it's such an opportunity lost. But when you're younger, what's so exciting is like you put in the work and there's no substitute for work. You put in that work, you're going to see the improvement. If you didn't have the passion for lacrosse and for, and you didn't have the tears when you lost, even though they were misplaced, you know, those ingredients are allowed you to accept your coach's challenges. Appreciate it, brother. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Boom. Oh.